I have brought this topi with me because this man has topi pen out this wonderful nation. I will start with wearing this topi. I have some extra for others who feel the same. Please don't do that. I want to summarize the story by simply saying, a company who in infrastructure where you have to win most things by tender or have to get a regulated return, I want to summarize this story by simply saying, a company who's in infrastructure where you have to win most things by tender or have to get a regulated return cannot have high multiples when it is growing with debt. Most infrastructure companies make a 5 to 15% return if they're lucky and they get everything right. Once an infra is built, it is usually sold to pension funds when the infra player keeps a small portion as an operator of the asset. The multiples at which this A company is trading was absolutely outrageous. Even Google, Amazon, and Microsoft don't trade at such multiples. Ultimately, markets are and should be about fundamentals. I want to ask all of you, when a Russian company was taking over an oil refinery from an Indian business, it was not an attack on India. When Mumbai's electricity was taken over with funds from Qatar, it was not an attack on India. The pride of India lies not in the wealth of one individual. The pride of India lies in the robustness of its institutional structures. I don't want to get into a Wall Street short seller's allegations. I don't want to get into a Wall Street short seller's allegations. I want answers. I want answers to what I've asked. Sir, Mr. Chairperson, sir, are you going to do your job and please ask the honorable gentleman to sit down? Are you going to do your job, sir, and ask this honorable gentleman to sit down? I'll tell the house. I'll tell the house. Sir, I think it is within the honorable scope of your duty to, to either like this, ask, ask the gentleman to speak down or throw him out with the marshals. Mr. Mem honorable member, up. आप अगर इसी I तरह डिस्टर्ब करते रहे आपका नामित किया जाएगा आपको नामित किया जाएगा बार बार इस तरह डिस्टर्ब मत करिए सर इफ ही डजंट अंडरस्टैंड इंग्लिश किसी और को इस तरह डिस्टर्ब करने की हक आपके नहीं है आपका नामित किया जाएगा मैं आई वार्न यू लेट द अदर मेंबर्स ऑन द रूलिंग पार्टी आर अवेयर एंड मेक हिम अवेयर this is not the way you have to behave Sir, inside I the house. Sir, I throw him out or give me extra time. This is not the way. Okay. You cannot disturb like this. No, no, I'm not disturbing. You are disturbing the house. You are disturbing the house. The pride. You are disturbing the house. You are disturbing the house. You are not the house. You are not the house. Why are you standing up and sitting up? And you are talking to each other. Sir, the pride of India is not the wealth of one individual. The pride of India lies in the robustness of its institutional structures. I don't want to get into a Wall Street short seller's allegations. That's not my job. I want answers to what I had asked in this parliament, what I have raised over and over again since 2019. In this house, in my repeated letters on record to the SEBI, to the CVC, to the DRI, the CBDT, and the Finance Ministry. It is a shame for us, it is a shame for our investigative agencies that these allegations against the A company were only listened to when global entities asked these questions. When I stood here, when I stood here and asked this question, the global world didn't believe us. Honorable Prime Minister, this man, Mr. A, has topi penowed you. He travels with you on your delegations. He meets heads of states on visits to India. He portrays that India is the prime minister and the prime minister is him. He makes it appear to the world that he is the remote control behind the prime minister. And by obliging him, we'll be obliging the prime minister. You talk about elimination of telephone banking to PSUs and to LIC. Let me tell you that he gives the impression that doing things for him will put them in yours and in the Home Minister's good books. Honorable Member. Honorable Home Minister. Honorable Member, you still have that on your table, which I had said that it should what, not sir? be. Take it the table. Oh, okay. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. You should not have yeah. bought it. Honorable Home the Minister, he has Topi penowed you. He has had the same shareholder for decades, yet his company says, we are not legally obligated to tell us who it is. Yet he's taking security clearance for ports and airports from the Ministry of Home Affairs. His group companies have amassed nearly 42,000 crores in foreign portfolio investments from six Mauritius-based funds. These funds have commonalities like common address, common company secretary, common directors. There is an urgent need to investigate these funds. I have brought this up in this house since 2019. In addition, there are 40 shell companies linked to the promoter who have collectively moved billions of dollars into Indian companies of this favorite group. 
No disclosure of related party transactions have been made till date. There are media reports that funding into these companies is managed by a Chinese national, Chao Chu Ling. There are reports that is managed by his brother, artificially pumping up valuations by using pump and dump. His net worth has moved from 9 billion in 2020 to 90 billion in 2022, all in the anticipation of a following of a follow-on public offering and FPO. That was to be his moment of crowning glory. Madam Finance Minister, he has to open out you. When your ministry in parliament tells me that an investigation by the SEBI is ongoing, this company puts out a statement saying that they have been exonerated by the highest court of the land. Which court? Which nation? He also says his brother has no formal designation within the group, so any transactions with his brother or control entities controlled by him need not be uh, uh, disclosed as related party transactions. Why has SEBI been a silent operator? Why would they permit a 20,000 crore FPO without completing an investigation report? Why didn't ask, uh, SEBI ask whether bankers had signed off on valuation? How is Mr. A's son's father-in-law allowed to be on the SEBI Committee on Insider Trading and Corporate Governance? How?